So I know the world's on fire right now um, concerning COVID, concerning Afghanistan, concerning uh, the state of, of, of the, the U.S., our country. Um, I want to tell you something. It might sound cynical. Take your faith out of politicians. I know that's the system we have set up, and you know every empire or nation has risen and fell. Right? One day we'll fall. Um, but understand that individually you have a choice. You don't be under any illusions that politicians or people that hide all their their shame and guilt from the world have any kind of perspective that will allow them to be great leaders. They don't. Like people that's never been at the ground level, that's never had to live through fundamental adversity, they're never gonna have the right perspective that supports people like you and I, right? The warrior class, the working class, right? They're never gonna have that perspective. It's not gonna magically happen because they learned some kind of etiquette or, and, and enforced some sort of policy and went off some script that makes them sound palatable for the masses, right? So, and you're like, and people will say, well, why don't the fucking, the guys that we believe in, the, the transparent, genuine people go and run for office? Well, I, I haven't done it and I can't speak factually about it, but my theory is that the people with the money that get behind these guys, like you're never gonna generate that much money and that much pull to get the right people in office. And then most of us that understand nobility, honor, humility, have a checkered past, right? And there's no way to hide it. And we couldn't pay enough people to hide all that shit. And to be honest, uh, I'm realistic, so I understand that everybody is human, right? And I understand that without adversity, there is no growth, there is no strength, there is no resilience built, all right? So if you don't know relative adversity, then you're, you're never gonna grow as an adult. And I mean, we could talk about Trump, we could talk about Biden, to be honest, both of them embarrass me. Most politicians embarrass me as an American because uh, I see the way they act, you know, either being overly se sensational, um, which is kind of redundant to say, but sensational or just staying on script and saying what the people want to hear and just blah, 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 and like a, like a machine. Um, none of that is is substance none of them are going to face their responsibility for things that happen on the ground based off of their decisions right they're never going to do it it's just not the way the system is built that's not the way the culture is built in poli in politics in our country right so what can we do well, i can tell you what you can do you make a decision every day to chase nobility to chase honor to chase humility by learning and prospering through adversity. Individually, you do that, right? We do that as an individual and we build a nation. Now, there's no easy answer. There never is an easy answer. And you're like, Z, that doesn't make the fucking change right now. Well, we didn't get to this point in America by something happening happening overnight. This has been a long trajectory of bullshit and people that don't have perspective, don't have the heart and the honor inside of them based on their lack of perspective and their lack of experience. Um, so it took forever to get to this point and it's gonna take a long ass time to change things, right? We're just experiencing symptoms of a big, a bigger root problem now in America, right? And it starts with the individuals that make up America, everyday people. Like it starts with us, 
It starts with the way you're raising your children. It starts with the way that you treat your neighbors and the way that you, you operate in your community. All right. Um, some of us have a bigger purview or a bigger bubble that we can impact. Some of us got smaller. I'm, I'm trying to use the, the little relevant reach that I have, but more importantly, I mean, this is just superficial communication here and you could take it or leave it and, and people will take it or leave it and do whatever with it, but make the impact to those that are in your circles, make significant impact valuable impact does that mean always do something positive no i mean negative shit happens you got to come to the realization that we're animals in a world where evil exists and it's in you just like it is me and you have to have to make a choice every day every day to cho choose how you're going to respond to adversity because there will be adversity at some level it could be what's right in front of your face the bill's got to be paid or it could be our fucking brothers and sisters dying in Afghanistan. So just make a choice. Individually. Every day. Pick yourself up. Face your fucking... The responsibility that you have for the decisions that you made. Accept it. Own it. Feel it. Process it. Use it to make a change for the better and keep moving forward, right? I don't have all the answers and I don't know anybody that has all the answers, right? Take the information we have, process it. History tells us that things rise and fall. Nations rise and fall. And uh, this is not the first time we face such things keep chopping wood every single fucking day you gotta make a choice some days are harder than others we're human stop thinking that people are superheroes stop putting this mystical uh, bullshit on people that are famous or or have some high office or you place it on some high level like people are people you have in you what anybody has in them some people forgot that they have to make a cho have to make a choice every day and they think it's inherent with whatever their office is or whatever their title is it's not it's not we take things for granted when we're not reminded right that being said Well, Z, you're talking about adversity. Well, there's different levels of that shit. Yeah, there's, there's the individual all the way to the national, global level of adversity, right? But we make up this globe. The way you face things is going to ripple, make a ripple effect in generations to come. The warrior class, the working class, we still have the power. The choices you make every day is, is the power that is going to echo for eternity. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue sowing into my kids and doing the best that I can to make up for the mistakes that I made in my life. I'm going to continue to sow. I'm going to continue to chop wood every single fucking day. Every single fucking day. And it's going to be hard and I'm not going to be able to do it alone sometimes. And I can't do it alone. I mean, that's why I've got the, the circle that I have, the insulation that I have built around myself, which is even hard for me to, to use sometimes because hard-headed warriors, right? Keep chopping wood, keep plugging away. Sow into your community. Do what you can at your level, that's fine. I love you. And the only reason I love you is because I've, I've learned to love myself. So what does that tell you? Do what you got to do. Stay strong. God bless us. God bless Australia. 
and I hope uh, we continue to grow.